this is your instructor Joy. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your continuing support, nice questions, comments, donations, volunteering, and booking lessons with me. I truly appreciate. Today I'd like to share with you how to control shaky bow. I'm sure all of us at some point of our playing have experienced that with shaky bow so it often happens when we're playing somewhere and all of a sudden and we start shaking it. And of course, if this happens during the concert, you know, it gets into our nerves and, and it's hard for us to control in that moment. So I'd like to show you three little tricks that will help you that, so that you can gain instantly the control of the bow, which will stop the shaky bow. Now, before we do that, let's understand the physics of the bow. When you look at it, the frog has a lot of parts, which means very heavy. Here, near the tip, there is almost very little. So this part, the tip part, is very light, which means the lighter ones, lighter parts, the bow jumps easier than the heavier part. Yeah? So that's one thing. Another uh, another part of the bow, another physical part, physical part of the bow is, as you can see, the bow stick is curved, a little like U shape, rather wider U shape. Um, this is not um, the same type of bow that uh, people used hundreds of years ago, but we came up with the idea to give a little more um, grip or stronger sound, and as well as the fancy bow stroke of springing bow or. So we did make the bow so that it springs on its own. So it is normal for the bow wanting to spring even if you don't want it. So just understand that. Now, so we know the lighter part tend to shake easier. When that happens, by simply giving more weight, more help or more support, that will control the bow to settle better that by giving more weight, yeah? But here, differentiate, we're not pressing it forcefully. Pressing, I don't like to use the word press because pressing is rather choked sound, this press. The weight, the sound where the weight is more resonant and a big rather that whether when it's pressed, it's not this kind of sound. So. Uh, let's uh, try to apply the weight to the bow when it shakes. The way you do that is try to have your index finger a little more deeper grip. So we know that we hold the bow like that and often second joint or finger wraps oops, <laughs> here like that. Yeah, But as you know, uh, we can carry the weight of our arm through the index finger. Now here, I need to grab the index finger, oops, even more, like that. So you are grabbing almost all the way to the lowest joint up there. And by doing that, you're putting more, you're allowing your index finger to carry the weight of the elbow, which will help the bow, for the shaky bow to settle. So now, Let's say it shakes and then grab a little deeper or get a little more into index finger instead of here. A little more like that. And then raise your elbow a tiny bit so that you can apply the weight of the elbow to the upper bow. Let's say grab index finger a little more closer. A little more like that. Let's see. Yeah. And then raise your elbow. Again. That's one way of doing it. Okay, second way of doing it is, you know, um, the middle part where this deepest curve, that's that's the part that, that springs the most, yeah? And also we know that you, we can use flat hair or we just need a, a little hair by tilting the bow, meaning that we're rotating our hand this way, this way, Right? That way the hair faces us. By doing that, this kind of effect of the bow wanting to spring, by tilting the bow, we are shifting 
the balancing effect is just sideways, therefore the bow will settle, the bow will stop shaking. Yeah? Let's say if it jumps or if it starts shaking, then turn or tilt the bow. Try again. Let's start. Let's say if it's shaking, then just rotate your hand until the bow gets tilted here facing us. Then, then the bow should settle. Now last one is move your bow. So it is it is normal when we hear a shaky bow, we panic and we stop the bow and trying to analyze what's going on, what can I do? And actually the opposite is more needed, which means when the bow starts shaking, don't slow down the bow speed, which commonly a lot of violins do, which is a mistake. By stopping the bow or slowing down the bow speed significantly, you're allowing bow, the bow to spring even farther. So instead of stopping, move it. Just start moving sideways. By doing that, you're spreading the weight to the sideways, therefore the bow will stop shaking and then settle. So again, move. Yeah. So three things. Apply the weight by holding the index finger a little more deeper grip. And then have your uh, bow tilted and move your bow faster so the bow can uh, shift, start shifting the weight. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.